Welcome to J4 Intergons. This is quite an approachable problem. It won't take too much to explain. So I've drawn my own intergon here. What is an intergon? Well, they define it as a polygon made with integer sides. So notice they're all integers. This one has got one, two, three, four sides, and its total perimeter is 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So this one's called a 417 intergon. So the first number is the number of sides, and the second is the perimeter. So we can draw a picture of the intergon, or as we often do in these problems, we also have a notation to describe it without drawing the picture. So we could write this as 8432. 8432 going in this order. Now, it doesn't really matter where I start when I describe this um, intergon, so I could go 4328. It's the same fellow, or 2843. Or I could even go backwards, 3482. These are all considered the same intergon. Notice, however, if I did a different intergon and put the 4 here, the 2 here, and the 3 here, then it is a very different 417 intergon. Okay, and comparing this to these, you can see there's no way I can rotate this sequence of numbers to look like the other one. That's as much of a definition as the problem gives us. There is actually another little problem with intergons, which you kind of will work out in part A, but it's really brought home to you in part C. So part A asks you, why is there only one 3,6 intergon? And it's time to start drawing, isn't it? So that means you're looking for three sides and the perimeter must add up to six. I'm not going to say much more about that. Play with it and draw. Just a little heads up. You may find there's more than one. You'll need to reason to yourself why there is actually only one. Now, part B asks you to draw all three seven intercons. So again, three sides, the perimeter adds to seven for the perimeter. Notice that the ones we just did before was three six and we proved there was only one of them. That's probably going to help us draw the three sevens. Again, please pay attention to the word draw. It's not enough just to list the sequences. You have to actually draw them. In part C, um, it asks us why is 1, 1, 2, 6 not an intergon? So draw it, think about it. They're telling you it's not an intergon. So they're actually giving you another piece of information about intergons. This is going to be important for the rest of the question. And the rest of the question says, find all nine 14 intergons. That's very nice. They told us there were nine. It's nice to know how many to work to. You'll find, as I did when you start working, you might find a lot more than nine. So you're going to have to reason why some of the ones you've found are not valid. Or, alternatively, are some of them the same intergon, just reflected or rotated? And finally, in part D, another nice one where they've actually given us the answer. There are only four, seven, nine intergons. So again, to recap, that's seven sides. Perimeter is nine is the perimeter. That's interesting. Okay, so there are only four of them. So again, I'm going to recommend a methodical sequence to try and generate all the possible combinations, rule out various combos, and you will indeed find four. To show that, all you need to do is list the four, list the four, seven, nine intergons. All right, have fun with this problem and post your answer in the Google Classroom. See you in the next problem.